When you spend your money taking your family out to, to eat, the last thing you probably want to think about is, is it safe? Well, your health and your safety is why health inspectors make surprise visits to restaurants each and every day, and it's why we're doing the restaurant report. Tonight, we're on your side, digging into the inspection reports. Customers come to carry out in Standish hoping to carry out a good meal, but the latest health inspection leaves a bad taste for some customers. If you knew what was on this report, would you be here right now? Probably not. Why not? Well, because I don't like taking that chance. CBS 13 went to the Chinese spot on Ossipee Trail. I'm Adrian Stenham with uh, CBS uh, 13. After their latest inspection revealed 12 violations, three of them critical. Violations included incomplete methods of sanitizing, food stored on the floor, employees eating, drinking, or using tobacco around exposed food or other items that need protection, and overall, the inspector found the facility was dirty. We wanted to see if there was an owner or manager available to talk to us about your most recent health inspection. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So you, your boss is available tomorrow? Yeah. The employee said to call the next day. We did. The owner did not return our call. I put our kitchens up against anyone. Owner Brad Monarch says you won't find any health problems at the Sebago Brewing Company in Scarborough. But in March, an inspector found 10 violations, three of them critical. Violations included a moldy ice machine, an ice scoop that was left in the ice, a slicer that needed cleaning, cold food that wasn't maintained at proper temperatures, unacceptable hot water sanitation temperature, and a dirty prep sink. So we always really do our best to correct them on the spot. Monarch took CBS 13 behind the kitchen doors to show us the improvements. We had an ice machine. Someone had inadvertently left the ice scoop in the ice machine. Just something that we have to keep on everybody about. The slicer was mentioned. Um, we had just had a new slicer on order. We were actually borrowing a slicer from our knife cleaning company when he came in. Fresh vegetables and stuff here. The broccoli, the green beans, things like that, we used to keep in an ice bin here. So um, something we had discussed with the health inspector last year, but it seemed like the best route was to invest in a new cooler. We have very, very clean restaurants, and we're very proud of that. During the follow-up inspection in April, the health department says all the violations at Sebago were corrected. I was calling to see if there is a manager or an owner available. Our final stop of the week is at Fuji in Portland. An inspector found seven violations, three of them critical. Among the issues, an inadequate hand washing facility, neither hot nor cold foods were at the right temperature, and the inspector notes that food wasn't protected from contamination during storage, soup wasn't covered, and fish was stored over and next to produce. We are calling in regards to your most recent health inspection. The employee said no one was available to answer our questions. I left my information. That's my direct line. But never heard back. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to see the inspection reports for yourself, we have put a link to them on our website, which is WGME.com.